What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. And this is going to be a review for the first horror film of 2019 Escape Room. It's kind of a little bit of a thriller as well. I think it's more I would say this is more of a thriller than a horror, but it's in it's in both genres. It can fall under both genres. Uh, similar to Jordan Peele's Get Out. This is basically a PG-13 Saw and it's also kind of have it has a it's basically Saw without Jigsaw and then you also have the fact that this is playing off of Final Destination a bit, that doesn't come into play until the end, and that's kind of what the downfall of the movie is. The movie stars Deborah Ann Wool, who I think is from Daredevil. We have Taylor Russell, she was in a Netflix original, if I'm not mistaken. We have Tyler LeBin, Logan Miller, Adam Robitel, Nick Nick Dodeny, and Jay Ellis. Those are our like central characters that we focus on. These are like what happens in this film is they get invited to this to this room this company i'm not really recalling what the company's name is right now off the top of my head but they get they all get invitations from a company that want them to participate in one of their escape rooms this escape room however is actually killing people and it's gonna it's now up to, it's now gonna attempt to kill them see so the situation that we come to find in the film is that and i'm gonna try to avoid as much spoilers as i can but this is kind of highlighted in the trailer we come to find that all these people have some sort of background that has to do with trauma physical trauma that left them as the only as the only survivor and somehow the company behind these escape rooms now what they're doing is they have they have orchestrated this whole entire escape room for these specific people or multiple escape rooms for these specific people uh that are designed after the things that nearly killed them so it's basically a, a test to see who is the ultimate survivor that's really what it comes down to as far as like what I personally thought about the movie, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I would say it's like, it's kind of similar to how Insidious The Last Key kicked off the year. Last year, I think it was a nice start to the year for, as far as like horror movies or movies in general is concerned. Uh, it doesn't have, there's not too many standout performances in it. Taylor Russell, she is the main protagonist. She plays Zoe. She's like a college student. She's very uh, to herself. She's kind of an introvert. She doesn't really go out as much as other people would like and we kind of find out that has to do with something that happened to her in the past um she was all over the news at some point for a tragedy that occurred that gets explored further when you if you actually go and see the movie in theaters you'll know what i'm talking about or if you've already seen it you know exactly what i'm talking about but anyway she is the protagonist but it feels as if she never really takes that next step to actually make you know she's a protagonist the film kind of just gives you enough so that you know she's a protagonist but she never really embodies what a protagonist should be like she's not really taking the lead uh it's more so and I, I guess that goes into what her character was about uh and along the way she does i think she has one of the strongest arcs by the end of the movie that's my honest opinion uh but she doesn't really feel like a protagonist throughout the movie she feels like just another side character who was miscast as a protagonist that's what it feels like uh everyone else around her is kind of like a kind of being idiots in the situation they don't want to they don't want to cooperate with each other well some of them do you have the nerdy kid who wants to cooperate his name is danny he wants to cooperate and he wants to he thinks this is actually fun at first and he thinks that the company behind it is just playing with them uh trying to make it as real as possible he's kind of in denial because he's done like several escape rooms prior to this as a whole i would say that the movie is kind of forgettable i'm definitely going i plan on buying it when it comes out on dv just to add to my collection because i did i did like it i enjoyed it for what it was but there's like it starts going just when it's about to get right it kind of takes a nosedive and i think that's kind of like mo what everybody is saying about the movie but it's actually true i know everyone else has stated that but it's now that i've seen the movie i see what they're talking about because the movie was doing just was doing so fine until it got to a certain point and then it's like it was climbing up to it's climbing up a ladder to uh go on the diving board then when it finally jumps off it completely fails and it just goes down further and further the acting gets worse the character choices become more stupid uh things get you find out things that you didn't really necessarily need to find out and it becomes more focused on setting up a sequel rather than finishing what they're already trying to tell here but there are some cool set designs and the director of this movie i think they do an amazing job at capturing those pieces and 
showing them from different perspectives. As far as like the performances go as a whole, I think the people involved in the movie did okay. I don't think they were necessarily very believable in the roles they were given. They, some of the act, you can tell that it's acting for something. I just feel like it didn't come off as very genu genuine. It felt, it, you could literally tell they were acting. That's just how it came across to me. I didn't feel that they actually wanted to be there. It just felt like they were, they were looking for a quick paycheck. But the kills, some of the kills in the movie are forgettable because you don't really, there's nothing really unique as far as like a kill goes. What's you, And then the movie goes, there's several cliche routes that the movie takes towards the end. It becomes very cliched. You have a lot of stuff that's found out that you need, didn't need to find out. And then you have sort of like a final destination type ending, which kind of feels like a ripoff. And it feels like the movie is not trying to be original whatsoever right now. Uh, but for the most part, Escape Room was a very enjoyable film. I think it was decent as far as like kicking off the year. I do think it's forgettable in the end though. Uh, and since the movie did manage to like actually have two thirds of the movie be entertaining and tell something that's very interesting to watch on screen, I'm gonna go ahead and give it six out of 10. The pacing was fine. It's just the fact that after, after a certain point, it's as if the movie just went downhill and was trying to rush to get off the screen or rushing to actually rather set up a sequel than finish what was already being told. Those are my thoughts on Escape Room. If you have seen the movie, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe or turn on post notifications so you'll get notified when I post new videos. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies or news you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.